Hello and welcome back to functions or composite functions now we're looking at. Um, lesson three. Um, so we're going to be looking at composite functions, uh, looking at an algebraic approach to these now. So this is where it starts to get a bit more trickier. We're looking at sort of grade eight, nine stuff here. So we are looking at the top end of this topic. Okay, probably some grade seven stuff in there as well. So we're probably looking across the board there at seven, eight, nine stuff. Okay. Um, just a quick little start though, just a recap on composite functions. Okay, so have a go at some of those six questions there. Probably say about a minimum of three. Um, but just pick three to have a go with. Uh, so just pause the video and when you're ready, press play. Okay, so hopefully you've recapped there on last lesson, the lesson two. Okay, there's nothing different than what's going on there. Um, so if you just mark your answers now for me. There we go. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at an algebraic approach to this, because we've looked at su just substituting a value in twice, but what if we want to still just keep things algebraic? What if we don't know a numerical value for x at the moment, and we just need an equation or a function, all as one? Okay? So, here's an example of the type of question you might be given. So, you're given that f of x equals 4x plus 7, and g of x equals 8 minus 2x. Okay, now part A to this question was find gf of x. Now, normally we're used to having that in the brackets as a number. But this time we're not. They're asking us to try and uh, represent this purely algebraically. Okay, and there's a few steps down below there, but I'm going to go through in a bit more detail with a question like this. Okay, so... Um, Find the volume following, gf of x, and then hence find gf of 1. So we've got two steps to this. So gf of x. So just like before, um, in previous composite functions, ones, we have to start with f of x. Okay. So f of x is 3x plus 2. Okay. And that's fine. And then we need to move on to the fact that, well, gx equals x minus 5. Now, the weird part here is this whole f of x part, that whole part there is actually now our value for x. So we're going to move that into our g function where x is. So instead of um, here, we're going to have um, g f of x. That's now going to become, instead of the x, that's going to become 3x plus 2 and then we're still going to minus the 5 on the end, okay? So this bit I'm highlighting here just come, is our f function, and we've just put it into our g function where the x used to be, okay? And now we're just going to simplify that up a little bit. So we've got 3x, and then plus 2 minus 5, so that gives us minus 3. So g f of x equals 3x minus 3 done okay and here's that um, just a bit neater handwriting essentially so you got the f function we start with and we're just putting that into our g function in the place of the x value okay and then we're just simplifying it up all right now we still need to find the value of g f of 1 so now we're just going to use that equation so g f 1 equals 3 times by 1 minus 3. So that's 3 minus 3. So my answer is 0. OK. Um, so that's sort of going back to the very basics way of substituting values in. But that's what the second step of the question is asking for. But one of the key parts is this here, this algebraic expression, that function notation there. That's the really important thing the question is asking for. That's where most of our marks would be coming from on a question like this. So let's have a look at another one, okay, because they do get a bit trickier. Um, so find the following hf of x this time. So again, we're still starting with f, okay, but this time we're putting it into the h function. Now if we look at the h function, it's h of x equals 2x minus 4. Now, 
don't forget this whole um, f function here is going to go in place of the x value in our h function okay but this time we've got two lots of it so h f of x equals 2 and then I'm just going to put this all in brackets for now 3x plus 2 so we've got two lots of that bracket we've got two lots of that 3x plus 2 and then we're minusing 4 so we're now at a stage where we could expand those brackets so we've got 6x plus 4 and then minus 4 simplified up a little bit so we just got 6f so hf of x equals 6x boom okay and that's that question there okay that there would be my final answer for that first stage uh, what is hf of x okay a um, bit more tricky because we've got to um, sort of make sure we're doubling that first function, but making sure you're going through it gradually and step by step. So here again, a bit clearer. Okay, um, so we started with our f function, substituted it into our h function. So you can see here, we've still got the two lots of the 3x plus 2, and then minusing that 4. Expand the brackets and then simplify. And now we just need to do the hf of 1. 6 times by 1, so my answer would be 6 for that second part. Okay, now again, they do get um, slightly trickier when you turn around as well. So you could have here fh of x, so this time we're starting with h and then substituting that into the f function. So why don't you pause the video here and have a go at that one yourself, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to go through that. So we're starting with the h function, and we're going to put that into the um, f function. So f of x is 3x plus 2. So this whole thing here is going to go in the place of that x. Okay, so f h x equals, well we've got the 3, then in the brackets we're going to have 2x minus 4, because that's replacing that whole x value, don't forget, and then we're going to have that plus 2 on the end still. So now we just have to simplify this up a little bit, so fh of x, so expand the brackets, so 3 times 2x is going to be 6x, 3 times minus 4, it's minus 12, and then we still got a plus 2. Simplify it up again, so we got 6x minus 10. Okay, so fh of x is 6x minus 10. Okay, and there we have it. And now if we do the second part, well, fh of 1, that's just going to be 6 times by 1 minus 10, so 6 times 1 is 6, minus 10 is minus 4, okay? So we can see it is getting tricky here, and these are all the trickiest steps, okay? Um, so here's some questions for you to have a go at for me, okay? So you do need to make sure you're doing both of these, so show the function hf of x, and then solve hf of 12. Okay, you've got to do both. Okay, I would say probably try three or four of those type of questions um, and then see how confident you're feeling before sort of moving on. Okay, because you do need to make sure you practice, practice, practice with this. Okay, so three or four just to see how you're finding it. Okay, and then if you're confident, then we can move on. Otherwise, you can carry on practicing another three or four. Um, so just pause the video, have a go at some of these, and then press play when you're ready. And here's your answers. Okay, so just uh, mark your answers now for me. Hopefully, so you've got your equations and your, um, or your functions, sorry, your composite functions and your answers there as well. Um, 
hopefully that made sense. So that is the end of this lesson. Now, as I said, if you are struggling with that, you need to go back and make sure you practice that a little bit more, especially before the next lesson, which will be the final lesson on this, which is inverse functions. Okay, so thank you very much. Well done. And uh, I'll see you in lesson four.